Hey guys, so I wanted to film a current favorites video because um, Mar I actually did film a March favorites and for some reason there was an error with my video and it wouldn't upload. It was really frustrating. Um, and then now it's May, I think today is May 15th. So whatever, I don't care. So it won't be a May favorite, or it won't be an April favorites. It'll be a current favorites video. And I do have a lot um, of products that I wanted to get into. So I'll just go ahead and, and start. I'm going to try to... I already, obviously I've already, I've had everything out, um, what I wanted to talk about, but I will try to do it by category so that way it's not too confusing. I'm not sitting here for like 20 minutes going on and on and on, which might happen anyway, but um, let's hope not. So the first thing I want to talk about is hair products. Um, the, I have a video on the America's Beauty Show from this year that I went to in March, and um, if you watch the video, you know that I got tons of beauty products and I'm sorry tons of hair products that I got from there and that was mainly what it was about it was about hair products um, or I, a lot of the vendors seem to be focused more on hair products and there was a section there called the value center which they had all these products name brand things and high-end things for like nothing like everything was a dollar I think some things were 50 cents 25 cents whatever so I, I got tons of products from that and um, I've really been trying um, to use that product and the first thing that I chose was a rusk product and um, it's I, I kind of I'm a dork this way I kind of wanted to try things like within the same brand even though I got tons of different types of products other than just shampoo and conditioner I wanted to just try the full line as a product and see how it changed my hair and how um, how I enjoyed it so I knew what I wanted to repurchase so um, the first thing and you can clearly see the I am down to like nothing and I'm so sad because like I just said I got tons of products and I, I really want to repurchase these and, and start using them now but there's other products that I that I have and I don't really need to buy anything um, so anyway so the this is a sham, shampoo and a conditioner by Rusk and it's called uh, their sensor it's from their sensories line and uh, it says here it's the they're called it's the calm shampoo and the calm conditioner, and it has guarana and ginger in both of these products, and it smell they smell amazing. Like I don't know, it, just, it smells so good. Um, so I've been using these two together, and then after I get out of the shower, my hair is wet. I've been putting um, what they call there is also from their sensory line. It's called the healthy treatment. And it's blackberry and bergamot, whatever that is. Um, but it's supposed to help strengthen your hair. Um, it says it awakens the senses. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Um, so it's supposed to be natural and you spray it on your hair and it makes your hair stronger, supposedly. This one smells really, really good too. Like, I think I've gotten a lot of compliments on people will be like, oh wow, you smell so good. What are you wearing? And. I'll say what perfume I'm wearing, but I'm, I say that I'm pretty sure that it's my hair products and it's not <laughs> my perfume, but um, this has a lot to do with it. So I really like, I don't know if this is really making my hair stronger. Um, I tend to focus just on the ends because with all the straightening products and the um, blow dryer and everything, it's a lot of heat on my ends and I can, I'm trying to grow my hair out so I can tell that it's kind of a little bit damaged so I've just been focusing um, on the ends so then that oh I forgot a conditioner also that I'm using so I use a shampoo and the conditioner and while I'm still in the shower uh, after I use that conditioner I've been using this um, it's also by Rusk and it's called Pro Elements Keratin Smoothing Treatment this is definitely the star of all these products this product is amazing like I've never I've never tried anything that has keratin in it uh, so maybe that's it my hair is just not used to that and it's and it's reacting really well or I, I don't know but this is a it's a conditioner you're supposed to put it on your hair and you leave it on for two to three minutes I usually leave it for like five minutes while I'm in the shower um and my hair just right away you can tell the difference it feels amazing it, it's so it's so nice and I do t see that my hair hasn't been as frizzy because I my hair is naturally curly and I, I straighten it almost all the time and as soon as there's any type of moisture in the hair in the air my hair will start to curl now last night I straightened my hair before I went out and it just curled on the ends like this how it is right now this is what happened because it was raining um, so the moisture in the air so it ends up curling on the ends I woke up uh, this morning and it was a little bit frizzy but nowhere near as much as it used to be like I would have like a halo of frizz 
on my hair you know when it started to rain or anything like that so I'm really I bought uh, actually two of these there were two there so I'm excited because this one's almost out um, so I'm really happy that I have another one to, um, to start using with this along with the shampoo and conditioner I will definitely be repurchasing their amazing products and I'm so happy that I got them um, another rusk treatment that I've been using and I use this after I use the spray I uh, this is an, an argon oil it's called the rusk deep shine protective oil treatment and I put this on um, while my hair is still wet before I blow dry it. And it does say it's a uh, it's a protective treatment and it protects from heat and things like that. So I have been kind of using this and not putting any other type of heat protectant on my hair. So I noticed that it's not that um, that it's been working really well. So uh, I, I really do enjoy this as well. The only thing is you have to be careful not to use that much because it can get it can get kind of oily and I try to avoid my roots and I just use it on the ends um, from like down here to the end so those hair products I've absolutely been loving um, really great oh they're still kind of wet gross because <laughs> I took them out of the shower um, let's see what's next uh, for my face I've been using uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this in videos before but the last couple months I've been having I've been having face issues <laughs> And I now have acne, like out of nowhere. I went all through high school, 26 years of life, I've never had a problem with my face. And now all of a sudden, and also if you follow me on Twitter, uh, you might know this because I, I tend to complain about it all the time. But, um, so yeah, so I've been having all these face issues and I don't, I, I think that it's been getting worse because I'm trying to use all these products. I've never had this problem before, so I don't know, um, I don't know what products I'm supposed to use or anything like that. So... Uh, I, for a while, for a couple months, this has been, my face has been bad probably since, it started around September, um, but it got better at the end of November. The last time I remember having a, waking up and just having a clear, blemish-free face was the end of November, so it's been, it's been quite a while. Uh, so since then, I've used, like I said, I've used tons of products, and I figured I just need to go back down to basics so I purchased this at work I work for um, a pharmaceutical company so I, I got these things at work um, and it's called the Aveeno active naturals clear complexion bar if you can see that and it's a bar of soap and I've always been kind of like I don't get why people wash their face with, with bar soap because there's so many products out there um, but this it's like a creamy bar of soap like even it doesn't dry out I do leave it I do keep it in a little plastic container but it doesn't dry out at all it's like really almost mushy like I could take the bar of soap and squeeze it down like this and it would kind of spread out a little bit it's, it's hard to describe but um, it says here that it does have salicylic acid in it and it says for clear even looking skin and it helps prevent breakouts from normal to oily skin blah 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 so I've been using this and then after I wash my face, I don't use a toner. Um, I use the Aveeno Active Naturals Ultra Calming Lotion, and it has SPF 15 in it. It's oil-free. And uh, this one says it's clinically proven to visibly reduce redness and soothe irritated skin. And I do notice that even though even though I, I do still have blemishes, they're not... In the morning after I wash my face and I, I would put something on my face, my face would get really red like especially with the areas that I had issues with and I noticed that this does help with that a lot it, it will still be red but for not as long a period of time um, so I've really really been liking those for my face um, also like a body product or um, this is gross <laughs> body product that I've been using is from Lush and I probably should have looked up this information before I started filming this because um, I, I don't know off the top of my head but I will put the put the information down below about this and this is the it's from Lush and it's called the Buffy bar I believe and it's just it comes it obviously was a lot bigger than this but it comes as a it's a bar and it has I think it has rice and almond and like oats and and it's kind of if you can see it's rough like to the touch and it's for exfoliating, but all, the actual bar part of it, it I, I believe has shea butter in it, or something in it, and so it's really, even though it's exfoliating, it's very, very smoothing, and it almost leaves your skin feeling like you, like you have, while you're still in the shower, like you have lotion on it. Um, and it's really, really soft, and I, I really, really like this. I'm going to be repurchasing this, definitely. I got this as a gift uh, from my aunt, so, and also, small, it, it kind of, 
I don't know, it's not the greatest smell in the world, but I mean, I guess it, it's not what I bought it for, or bought it, that's not what, um, what the big hype is, you know, about it, but it, so it kind of smells like nuts. So maybe that's the almond in there, I don't know, but I, I really do like this. Um, let's see, on to, um, makeup. The, for my face, I've been using, I've been trying not to use as much foundation. I only use foundation when I go out, uh, but for work, I've been using the, um, a tinted moisturizer, and this one is by Mark, and it's called Get a Tint, and my color is, I think this is, a, I think it just comes like medium, dark or light I think this is the medium uh, it has SPF 15 in it and it's just like it's just a moisturizer um, it's very very light and I like the I like the effect that it gives um, it doesn't it does cover up it's like this it's like lotion and you like you know blend it out and um, it, it's just it gives really really sheer coverage as you know um, tinted moisturizers are but I feel like it's it's not um, oily. Like I, I have tried other tinted moisturizers and they're kind of oily to me or they leave my skin looking oily. But this one does not and it wears really well throughout the day. I do put a translucent powder over it. Um, but yeah, it works really well with the con just concealer on my blemishes. I use that and then uh, translucent powder over it and I'm good for the rest of the day. Uh, another thing that I've been using, um, when I do use foundation, I've been using the Revlon Colorstay foundation, and I talked about this in another video. Um, I wasn't, you know, it, it, I wasn't raving about it, and I know that a lot of people really love this, this uh, foundation, and I couldn't really figure out why, because I wasn't, for me, it just, it just wasn't working as well, but I think I figured out why or what the issue is. Um, so what I would do is kind of put it, put this on my face, and then um, blend it out either, you know, with my fingers, or I was using, um, like a foundation brush like this just like a flat foundation brush and I don't know it just it looked kind of streaky and I just didn't like the effect that it looked that it gave so I don't know what what I why I tried this one day but um I I would take some I take some of the foundation out and I just put it on one section of my face so I do this section so I dot it on and then I've been blending I'm sorry my brush is dirty I've been blending it out with this brush and I showed this in a video. I got it from America's Beauty Show. It's a crown brush. Uh, doesn't have a number, sorry. And so I, I just, you know, I put it on just this one section of my face, and then I blend it out, and then I use, I put a couple dots on the, on another section, and then blend it out. And I do that all over my face, and it leaves the prettiest. Like it's a full cover for me. It's full coverage. Um, and I feel like I can really build it up. Um, I, I tend to build like do another layer, I guess you can say, on my chin and on my forehead. And it just, it's for like a night out, like it just, it, it wears beautifully and I, I feel like it looks really, really good. So I, this combination for me for uh, on this foundation has been, has been working really, really well. So I love that. Um, another brush that I've been loving is, oh, my nose itches, um, is this brush that I also got from Crown Brush. This one is the C108 Flat Bronzer Brush. And it's just a flat top bronzer brush. And, um... I use it for uh, blush, and I really didn't think that this was gonna work well for me. I, I don't. I, I think I, I was curious. That's why I bought it. But I really do like just kind of like patting, you know, the blush on my skin, and then and then blending it up rather than using a fluffy brush. Um, and it's been working really nice. So I, I do like that a lot. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, some lip products that I've really been loving uh, lately is this lipstick by Revlon, and it's the six. It's the ones that look like this. I'm not sure what line it is. The oh, Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick. So let's stick on it. And it's the six seven seven. Um, they're saying it's a cream, and it's in Siren is the name. Let me show you. I don't know if I don't know if this camera focuses on its on its own or not, but eyes recently I have been this is another new discovered um, or recently discovered I guess you could say it's old but is the um, Avon it's an Avon quad looks like this it's really old actually and it's called the charcoal quad and it has four colors in it and let's see this one right here, as you can see, this one is called Moonlight. 
Um, let's see. Maybe I'm not doing this right. Oh, Moonlight, White Light, Platinum, and Black. Which this black is not a black. It's like a charcoal. You can see it's not black at all. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Avon Shadows. I, I'm, I really like Avon's... Um, lip products and other products that they have. I'm not a huge fan. I've had this forever in a day um, and they're not really that great and they're hard to work with. However, these colors, I don't know. I have never thought to use these colors on my eyelids before. I'm, I'm always using browns and neutrals and I have just been loving um, this color right here all over the lid and then I put this color right here in the crease and then just like a, a just a little bit of the dark color here and blend it out in the crease and I use like a black liner on my on my top liner and it just it looks so pretty and it makes my eyes look huge and I really really been I've been doing that and I've, I actually did it like four days in a row and I got a lot of compliments at work on it so um I will definitely be doing that a lot more and I, I really really like well I've, I've done it I, I, at least 10 times in the last couple months I've, I've worn this eye look so um, I really do like that. I've also, on a couple occasions with that, because the light one is a little bit blue, it's like a bluish tinge to it, I've been using this navy uh, eyeliner, uh, it's called the Graffiti Pen by Ico, and it's just a, na a true navy um, color liner, and that actually looks really nice too, because uh, it's really dark. And it, it just kind of brings out the blue in the in the shadow and rather than just using a, a black eyeliner. So I've really been liking that a lot. Um, also, of course, my Naked Palette, which I probably use this every other day that I'm not doing something else. And I've had this not that long. And you can kind of already see I've gotten some damage into that. And what I've been doing is putting toasted out. I think I've said this before. Putting toasted all over the lid, which is this color right here. It's like a pinky... Um, <laughs> these shadows are so amazing like I that was like way too much product I don't even know why I rubbed it like that but it's just like a pinky like, I don't know it's just, it's gorgeous it's such a gorgeous color I don't know if you guys can see that um, sorry about the lighting anyway amazing I uh, just putting I've been putting toasted all over the lid and I put um, sin in the inner corner and I bring it that down underneath too and it's just such a pretty, I don't even put anything in the crease, I don't put any eyeliner, uh, and I don't even use a highlight. And the reason why I'm not using a highlight is because of the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin. I am in love with this, like I don't even know why I use regular Primer Potion. I got a sample of it in, a, in an Urban Decay palette that I purchased, and I purchased this super jumbo, like do you see how big this is? This is the XL one, because it's just, it's perfect. I it's got shimmer to it. I know a lot of people don't like it, but it's got shimmer to it. And I don't need, when I'm using a lot of neutral shades or even other shades that have shimmer or glitter to them, I don't need a highlight because it blends out to this really pretty light. Really been loving that. Um, but seriously, guys, like the Naked, I know every, like people have talked about it a million times. This palette is so amazing. I don't. If I lost every other eyeshadow that I ever owned, I think I would be okay. I think I would feel okay about that because I had this palette. It's just amazing. If you don't have it, you need to go get it because, especially if you're into neutrals. Now, if you're into crazy colors or bright colors, you're not. You probably won't like this very much. But it's just such an amazing palette, and I absolutely love it. Oh, okay. I've been talking forever. I feel like okay. There's uh, one more eye product that I've been using like crazy is the uh, Maybelline Falsies in very black. And you guys have probably seen this before. It's got this crazy, like, centipede looking wand, and it's like scooped. And I've just been using this like two, three coats, and it just makes it, they look like false lashes. They really do. Um, I do have long lashes just naturally, but it, it just gives it a lot of volume and makes it look really big. It makes my eye look very big, and I really love that. Um, last thing I want to talk about is nail polish, and um, not necessarily. I don't have necessarily have a favorite polish that I've you know been using over and over again, but just this color of polish, and it is blues, like light blues. As you can see um, from my nails right now, I'm wearing Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Color in Blue Away. 
that's that one and I really really like this one and I've just been I mean look if you look at all these like these are all blue polishes I've just been really really into them and I never owned a blue polish before March I say when I bought um, borrowed in blue this was my first light blue polish that I ever purchased and I just I Rachel or cupcakes and scissors I've been watching her since I first started watching YouTube videos and she's she would always talk about color clubs uh, take me to your chateau and she would always have these bright blue nails not always but you know show this, this bright blue nail polish and I don't know why I never thought to, to do that or to I don't know that it was flattering but I just been so loving it and I've just gone full force into blue nail polish um this one is Essie Lapis of Luxury <sighs> so pretty um this one's more of a muted one China Glaze Sea Spray which I've shown you guys before um Zoya Caitlin is more of like a purpley blue but I really like that and I've just I just love it I have my eyes on Sally Hansen Salon Manicure in Barracuda that's a really bright blue too but this one like I said this one is pretty bright and I've really been liking that so yeah I think that is it god I I need a glass of water because my throat is so dry from talking so much so I'm sorry if you're bored um, but I really wanted to do this and just tell you guys what my favorite things are right now and what I'm using uh, all the information will be in the down bar and or the info bar or whatever the name is and if you have any questions please feel free to leave comments and uh, yeah thanks for watching I will talk to you guys soon <laughs> bye